Yo, so it's a great time to be a Halo fan, which is good because it doesn't feel like it has been for a very long time. I once again participated in one of these flights that they have for the Master Chief Collection where you play pre-release builds of the next season. Uh, the next upcoming season is season eight i believe it's titled mythic and they added a bunch of stuff man there's a bunch of new armor they're adding a new map and they're even adding new game modes to odst believe it or not in this video i'm just going to talk about what i've played what i've seen what's being added and how it is currently and how i hope it improves in the future so first up we're going to take a look at some of the new armors they're adding they're clearly inspired by hollywood depictions of knights and vikings and greek soldiers not super interested. I wasn't even interested in the samurai armor, to be honest. I think the heavier, bulkier Spartan armor in 3 or in Reach looks objectively cooler than you trying to recreate your For Honor OC. It's not shade, it's accurate. Give me the Halo Reach Mark V B, EOD, Mark V S, or even the CQB helmet, and I'm going to pick those every time. They're also adding more visor effects and new accessories for your Spartan to wear on their back. And they all look great! More customization is always good. Also, I can make my Spartan look like Taskmaster now, and that's automatically a positive in my book. As far as the new map is concerned, they're adding the Halo Online version of Turf, known as Icebox. Everyone's excited. I got to play this in the El Dorito mod, so this isn't new to me. I'm not trying to sound cynical. I'm glad this is being added. It's a testament to the great map design from the Halo 2 era. I'm awashed with nostalgic memories of it being my dad's preferred map or at least one of them he was always partial to ascension burial mounds and turf i'm a headlong waterworks backwash kind of a guy myself i also think i like icebox aesthetic more than the original turf the cold futuristic city the default snow warthog design if you don't have weapon or vehicle skins. This is truly core Halo map design. It's a chunk of the Halo universe cut out to use in a multiplayer game. It's not a training area or anything. You know, we gotta drive that lore home. No, it's just an area. Turf is definitely one of the maps that deserved a revamp, so I'm glad to see it. If I could just throw my opinion out there, I think Gemini is a map from Halo 2 that they should look into for a similar treatment. I don't even know if that's in the Master Chief Collection. I'm pretty sure it is, but it's a map I really liked back in the day, and I would love to see it come back in some facet. People have asked for it, people have asked about it, people have wondered why it's not a thing, and I finally got to test it. Flood Firefight. The new game mode for ODST. Aside from the spawn glitches and weird behavior of the Flood AI, this is really cool. This always should have been a thing. I wish ODST did better to the point where they probably could have added this way back when. Especially seeing as how I recently made a video talking about the Flood's potential return to the Halo franchise. This could be a nod to that. You should go check it out. I assume they'll work on the technical issues because there's a few. On the map Windward, they'll just stop spawning. I ran around the map for almost an hour. Like, it didn't even save the full length of the video. It only saves up to 30 minutes. Because, you know, I'm bug testing, I'm trying to see if I can find them sticking out of the wall, or if they just spawn really late or something. Nope. Went into theater mode, figured out where the flood were stuck. They're stuck in their spawn point way up high where they come out of the door. Uh, it's so high your camera can't even get up there, so I assume they're stuck. If they try to jump, they sort of just sit there and bounce. Nothing happens. And they're just stuck there. They can't get down. I reported it, but that's a pretty unfortunate glitch. Also, from what I can tell, there's no infection or carrier forms. I don't see why. I don't know if that's... Would they cause frame rate issues? Are they causing netcode issues? I don't know, but as of right now, you only fight combat forms and pure forms. You know, the crickets, the tanks, and the spike shooters. When it works, it works, and it's a lot of fun, but unfortunately, like, you have certain situations the combat forms will kill themselves by jumping off skyscrapers this definitely needs to be fixed the flood will also sometimes just pause and it's a known issue that they'll just not move or not do anything that is not what i am talking about they will sit there and freeze like they'll turn into statues and if you try to attack them sometimes you'll just kill them other times it doesn't do anything it's like they're invincible. They're, they're not attacking you, they're not moving when they're like this, but it's still very weird. Also, they don't spawn in a very polished way, they just appear. Uh, maybe they should come out of phantoms just like the Covenant does, because I'm pretty sure they can do that. They can hijack vehicles. 
Everything else wise, the way they act, when it works, it works. It feels fun. They run up, they try to melee, they'll try to take you out with power weapons. It feels like fighting the flood. Their audio is also a little messed up. They don't like roar and screech as often as you're used to. Like sometimes they're just really quiet running at you. It kind of feels empty and unpolished. I hope they take a look at that. The background music is fine. You can hear the grave mind whispering and stuff to you, but the flood themselves are very quiet. But all I can say is, I'm glad they're looking at this. I hope they take all the glitches and feedback into account. I hope they make this better because this should have been a game mode a long time ago. And I would love if they would incorporate in the future just firefight where the waves are flood and covenant forces in tandem and they're fighting each other. Very standard Halo fare. We've been doing that since combat evolved. Making the firefight harder because you know, you kill the Covenant, then the Flood just takes their corpses and turns it into more Flood. Like, that's one of the most fun, like, in interesting aspects of the Flood, having to deal with that. You're, they'll undo your progress. As annoying as it is, it's their purpose. But yeah, fix those glitches. This was a great idea. This is probably my favorite aspect of this flight. Having participated in the last flight where they added all the new armor for the Halo 3 elites and then participating in this one where they're incorporating the Flood retroactively to Halo 3 ODST, it only reaffirms 343's ability to handle content drops, especially for Infinite in the future. I think it was Season 2 where they just started adding color changes and stuff to Combat Evolved and people, including myself, were whelmed. They were like, oh, that's nice. Also, Halo 4 armor is ugly. Personally, I would never put it on my Halo 3 Spartan. Then as the seasons have rolled out, we've gotten new armor and stages, and it's all been pretty great. That Seneschal armor for the elites is something else. All this brings new life into the OG Halo games. I think season 6 was Raven, right? That was the season that solidified my newfound confidence in the Halo franchise, like, and Halo in the future. So when I get a free multiplayer game with a supposed 10-year roadmap planned, if the content that drops is anywhere near as good as, say, the last three MCC seasons, including this one, then I'm all for it. This season pass era, if done well, or at the very least, has fun games in it, doesn't have to be a problem. It's just that the industry loves to find ways to mess things up. How many failed League of Legends clones are there? So those are my thoughts. What did you think of the Season 8 flight if you participated? What do you think of what's being added to the MCC? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.